Hello beautiful Libras. We are here for your top secret cross watchers video. What your person thinks, feels, and intends with you and their general overall outlook at what has been going on in your relationship. Okay, Libra, let's take a look at the overall energy in the reading. It is Coyote Spirit, Trust in Divine Detours. Very interesting. Okay, we have a very pretty little fox there, somebody who has a lot of passion, somebody who looks very sweet, little feathers here, like a little feather headdress, but very, this person knows what they want and they know how to get it. The ant spirit says that they are, it's time to collaborate. You two seriously need a major talk. I'm getting that the storyline I'm getting here, and I don't want to get too detailed because it will preclude some people, but the first energy here is just really awful. <laughs> it's 10 of swords clarified by the 10 of swords, five of swords. Your person feels as though there has been an emotional betrayal and what we're seeing is they think that you have really accused them of something, that you have undermined the relationship. Your person feels as though you have made, for some of you, you've given this person an ultimatum. When I look at this top row, what I'm seeing here is that I feel as though you, Libra, may want to you're tired you know i'm seeing that you're you want to walk away from being single and it looks like you want to be married to this person you want to perhaps have children or grow the relationship venus energy that can be having you know just a really beautiful life that you look like you may have given this person an ultimatum or even if you're early in the dating uh, situation, you may have said, look it, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to waste my time with anyone, including you. <laughs> That's you saying this to them, okay? So whoever you're dealing with is coming in as a king of pentacles, which is a very rock solid energy. It's Taurus energy. It is someone who wants to build. This is someone who is very stable. It's a Taurus king. But the Taurus king has taken very big offense to the way something was delivered information this is communication ten of swords five of swords is they feel like they have been judged in a really raw way so that to me says that there's been some sort of argument for most of you the reason this person is so upset is that they actually want the ten of cups they want the same thing as you they may not children may or may not be on the table for them but they're taking great offense at getting an ultimatum. And if you've just started dating this person, it's kind of, for them, this is a warning sign because they think that you're very controlling. The devil card ultimately in readings tends to be very controlling. And you don't know where this is coming from. They don't know where this is coming from. It's like, wow, you know, I have options. I mean, you can't control me because this is what they think of you. They feel as though you're trying to manipulate them and they don't really get why you would do that and why you would do that if you have options, right? And you do have options. So here's what they see. They feel very much, this is a very mature person. Your person feels very much that they, while they totally understand what you want, they are on board with you, what you want. They share the same goals as you. They feel as though you, Libra, are being sort of uh, a lightweight, you know, like, like, well, of course, you know, their feeling is, is that it is immature for you. Now, I don't mean immature as in, well, this is a young person, but it's naive for you to think that you have to say that to them. They feel as though you've really taken a wrong turn. Treating them because you have, you know, the heart of cups, you're the queen of cups. They see you as a person who is just saying the obvious, like, well, yeah, when pigs fly, this is how they feel about you. When pigs fly, I would waste your time. This is a very solid person. 
And yes, they're highly desirable. And yes, lots of people chase them around and seek them out. But what they're saying is, you know, I'm really much more grounded than this. When pigs fly, I wouldn't be serious in a relationship. I wouldn't waste your time. So the Three of Cups is the energy that really speaks to how your, see, your person would like to proceed with you. They want you to have the clarity. They are going to share with you a very, very um, different outlook that's very original. Again, you know, the, the you know, trust in the divine detours. This person is in it to win it with the collaboration. So they really want to, to have you like lighten up. And you know, for those of you, this, this can be a friendship, this can be any kind of a relationship, but I read it as romantic. But what they are trying to come in and say is, look it, I would not waste your time. And it is really a big colossal mistake to assume that I would waste your time or stab you in the back. They also feel as though you're carrying baggage from another relationship. This person is in it to win it, but they would absolutely be very clear with you if it's something they don't want. They will tell you. So the Saturn energy, the Capricorn energy here is weighing very heavily on this. And this person does, they're moving towards you. They have clarity, but they want to know if you're compatible. So this person wants to marry their best friend. So the Three of Cups energy is very Cancerian energy. They want a relationship that's very nurturing. They are very clear about that. They love in a very deep fashion, their Venus or Moon ascendant may also be, you know, or their son could be in, in Cancer. The Page of Cups also indicates that there may be a child here already in play in the relationship for some of you for whom it resonates. This person wants to throw caution to the wind, but they do not want to have to move uh, at your rate. To them, to them, it's collaboration. You know, let's move at a rate that is good for both of us. They are very interested in meeting your family. They're very interested in meeting your friends. They're really, the card of collaboration is usually the three of coins, but we have the three of cups. So what that really means is that they wanna make sure that you're really a fit socially, you know, politically maybe, you know, in terms of your life goals. This is a person who absolutely does not want to hurt you but they are also absolutely a person who will not be forced into anything. Because if they feel forced, if they feel like there's this energy underneath that's always sort of, you know, this sort of somebody who spies on them or tries to control them, they would see themselves as being at a fork in the road. The fork in the road energy is they feel as though, you know, they would have to have a new beginning somewhere else. And that's not what they want. This person has is very clear. They really have great clarity that they know that, you know, they feel as though you are one of the most dear people to them. The Three of Cups is a card of celebration. They would love to celebrate life with you, with or without family throwing caution to the winds, but taking their time here. This person wants to take their time. For those of you who are in a relationship for much longer, you know, this dynamic still unfortunately looks the same. I don't see this person quite on the same page as you, and that seems to be the issue. Spirit is advising, is advising you, Libra, to you know, do your intel, get your intel, ask the person, don't be sneaky. Don't be suspicious that if their phone rings that, that you know, they're talking to somebody else. Yes, they're very attractive, but they, they do have options. But this kind of energy with the devil energy will sabotage your relationship. You can't be suspicious because somebody else hurt you in the past, okay? And this person feels very much that you're bringing your baggage from one relationship into the relationship with them. Energy can always be vice versa. We all know that. Okay. 
The Two of Wands also says, Spirit is saying, look it. Keep an open mind as you move into the future. Leave your suspicions behind. Quickly seek truth. And that's what I'm seeing here. The outcome card with what you're going to have with this person is a new beginning. This person is very clear about what they want. We have the Ace of Swords. You know, this person is a person who's really clear. So Libra, they see a new beginning. This is Aquarius. This is Gemini energy. This person is all about communication. They really, they are about communication. And you don't have to be uh, overly, you know, powerful in it. They get it. No running with scissors. You know, be careful what you say to this person and how you say it. Because as a Taurus king, the Taurus king is really good natured. You know, most Taurus energies are very good natured and they give you the benefit of the doubt. And this is Taurus energy here. So this person does see that, yes, you know, they may want a, a child with you. They may not. There may be some argument, I think, for some of you or some disagreement about long term goals, because if this person already has two children, they may not want to have more children. But again, to me, this is somebody perhaps you giving them an ultimatum and saying, I'm out of here if you don't give me what I want. It's sort of a little hostagey, you know? That's the energy that I get. So I would say Libra, tend to, you guys tend not to be that way. You tend to be very sweet and loving and kind. You tend not to push an agenda, but it's just, even if it's underplay, undertow, you know, if you go to dinner and you're asking all these probing questions, they're going to start to feel like, oh, that's just a little odd because to them, they see that the two of you have to be really compatible first. But the Fool card really says a new beginning is starting, rushing. They are really rushing towards this new beginning with you. This is a person who would love to spend time hanging out at home, love to go out in the town. They're in it to win it, eight of coins, but they, they feel as though they have a good handle on who you are. But the ace of coins says that, you know, we look at this, this is so beautiful too. We get the Ace of Coins to the Eight of Coins. So this person feels as though they've met, they're not in a mastery level of knowing who you are and what the outcome will be, but they are very much going in the direction of home is where the heart is with you, okay? Chariot card, rushing home, honey, I'm home. And when we look up here, we go, we go, the Eight of Pentacles plus one is the Nine of Pentacles. This person is single. But they too, and this represents you also. So this person's really on board with the idea of marriage. They're very much on board with it, but they're simply not going to really deal too much with what they see is, um, you know, conflict kind of driven stuff. This is a person who Libra is very much, you know, they've been wounded in the past. They, they're they leaving their baggage behind. Hopefully this isn't their baggage, but if it is, then that's what it is. But let's take a look at the, the El Goliath deck to see if there's anything about that, this set of cards we need to know. And since this is their feelings, they feel stabbed in the back. Let's see what that's about and whether it has anything to do with you, Libra, or not. So I'm going to pull three cards for this, past, present, future. Let's see what's going on here. There we go. All right. Oh, good. Okay, now... Okay, well, then that all is, so this person has left a situation. So they do feel as though um, they are not angry at you, but they are angry at the concept of when you start dating or of anybody. So this is their outlook very much, that they are not going to put up with that energy. So it's very important you don't try to go there. I really like that no, but that's in the past. No, okay, let's look at the present. High Priestess says that this person's very intuitive. They pick up on subtle hints. So the underlying message here also is you don't need to hit hint with this person. They will respect you and be more on board with any question you have if asked directly. The King, oh, here we go. So 
this person is bringing some baggage into the relationship, okay? Because although this is a future, it really speaks of the King of Swords, the Father of the Night, that they will, they intuitively, they can, they're very intuitive in terms of determining people who are controlling, you know, this is Capricorn energy, anybody who lies. This is a person who can really intuit it and they're not on board for anybody or anything in their life. So they are defensive most likely, but they're also in it to win it. So there is kind of a an odd side story, but I think that it can go both ways. I think that for some of you, there's been an argument about commitment. For others of you, both of you or one of you have been in a situation that you've been in a bad relationship, which is typical of middle age, right? Two people have both been married to someone else. You're both coming in. This could definitely has an, a feeling that it goes both ways. But it does look like, you know, the energy of your person is that this is a high priest, just very pure person, very good hearted person. And they know I'm not going to put up with anybody who is going to take advantage of me. You know, this predatory behavior. They had it before, and they're, this is a big theme with them. And, you know, they made a choice to get out of that behavior in the past, and Spirit is advising at this time not to be involved with that. So I see that as a very, very hopeful, lovely reading of what's going to work out in the future. I feel as though, you know, literally you have, literally, you have two aces here, the three of cups. The, the ace of coins with the three of cups even goes further in this relationship, and that can mean engagement. This person wants to go from the ace of coins to the eight of coins, which is nine of coins, and that's sitting next to marriage. So they're looking for emotional fulfillment. They would leave any situation where there wasn't emotional fulfillment, where the two of you weren't on the same page. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Take care. I think it's a really good reading. Okay. Have a good one. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.